Jeffers. Well, look who finally decided to show up. If it ain't Charles Reed, the G Captain Caleb Lyons at your sir. You and I have a No, no. Let me be frank, newcomer. You would Okay. You can don't waste my time. Fish, fish, fresh fish. Take as much as you need. It won't cost you a penny. I've heard that I can find an organization hereabouts that goes. You sure are. I happen to be a representative of the EOD. Pleased to meet you. My name's Anna. Can I help you with something? Uh, Charles Reed. Just. <laughs> of course. What is the EOD? I mean. Well, we are a non-profit, charitable organization. Actually, it's better to say that we're a gathering of volunteers. We're not an official charity yet. As for what we do, we try to help ease the suffering in our city as much as we can. Oh. How do you do that? We provide fish for the hungry and fix the homes of the poor. We also patrol the streets at night to keep the wild beasts and bandits at bay. And many, many more things. Whatever needs doing. Anything to help the people, Charlie. It's been great chatting with you, but I'm actually here to speak with the EOD leadership. You know where I can find them? <laughs> Not so fast, Charlie. Nobody meets the top brass without being a member. You need to earn a rank in the EOD first. Oh, you're kidding me. What for? <laughs> You need to prove yourself. Show us through your actions that you're worth our time. No offense, Charlie. How can I join? That all depends on what skills you can offer us. What do you do best? Huh. Well, I'm afraid my resume's in my other jacket. Let me see. I was in the Navy during the war. And ever since it ended, I've been a private eye. The sea provides. Turns out we have a job that's a perfect fit for you. Okay. Tell me more about this job. Well, last night someone tried to break into our fish storage room. Luckily the guards scared him off, but I fear they'll be back to finish the job. That's why we've been busy today giving away all the fish to the people. We'd rather it get into the hands of the needy than to some... And you want me to find whoever this thief is? <laughs> You're smart, Charlie. I like it. Exactly. Fine. Count me in. Good. 
Thank you. Here's the address. Tell the guard the password, I serve the C, and he'll let you into the storeroom. See you later. I serve the sea. Anna sent me here to investigate the recent break-in. <sighs> the sea be praised. Finally. I'm Daryl. Daryl Grimes. How can I help you? Can you tell me what happened? And don't skimp on the details. Yeah, not 
much to tell, sadly. It was a man, that much I know. He snuck in while I was upstairs, tried to steal the fishies, but I heard him. Nearly got him with a harpoon by Kay, but I missed in the dark. He got away, that Dane, but I wonder, why steal what you can get for free? Yeah, that's a bit of a puzzler. What did this burglar look like? Same height as you. Not too big, not too small. Nothing to write home about. The average Joe, if not for his uh, bald head. That guy was as bald as an egg. I could see the moonlight reflecting off the top of his head. And what did he steal? Nothing. I... Where did he go? Don't know, pal. What's the deal with the... Orders from the higher... All right. Well, that's enough for now. Here, take the key. Wow. That pierced a good inch of solid wood like it was nothing. Fresh, still smells of the sea. No signs of decomposition at all. That's a fancy looking bottle. Looks like it was taken from a lab somewhere. And there's some kind of powder left on the bottom. I better not touch it. It could be dangerous. This guy must really be into his hobby to have such impressive tools. Nice work. When I was a kid, I would have gone nuts for this. Well, if it was finished, that is. He's dead as a doornail, but I don't see any wounds.
Gods. So first it ate the fish, and now it's dead. That's troubling. Thank you. 
thief. I'll show you not to mess with us. A man broke into the fish storage, poisoned the fish with an unknown substance, and then made a noise which alerted the guard, who chased him out. You dig up anything interesting? I sure did. Turns out our friend here wasn't here to rob the place. He came to poison the fish. By the sea. Are you sure? That's what the evidence suggests, anyway. Okay. This is horrible. Please don't tell Anna it was my fault, or she'll have me cornered. Don't worry. I won't tell her. You seem like a decent sort, Daryl. I'll, uh, I'll make some up. Thanks, Mr. Reed. Here's a little something to express my gratitude. Take care now. Still, I've done wrong and I deserve to be punished. I'll stay on guard duty for the next month without a day off. You have my work. All right, you, uh... I found a hidden room full of shackles and chains downstairs. Looks like some kind of torture chamber. What? Stop talking, Druck. That can't be true. Now, Daryl, you know I'm a detective. I've got nothing to do with it, I swear, Mr. Reed. Go on. Okay. I'll talk. See ya. May the sea protect you. Don't be shy. We have enough. I've got news about your fish storage prop. Oh, I'm all ears, Char. It only looked like a robbery. Some guy broke into the storage to poison the fish. Near as I can tell, he succeeded, at least partially. I realize it's a lot to take on faith. Look, I've got a sample of what I think is the poison. Oh, I can't identify it yet. <sighs> Say protect us. That's terrible. I don't know. But... We need to stop distributing the fish. We have to let everyone know about this. Kay knows how many people might already be affected. What do you want me to do with the poisoner once I've... I'd bring an end to him right there if I were you. The police and court are useless these days. That wasn't the deal. I'm a detective, not a hitman. Fair enough. Fair enough. Report to me when you find him. I'll see that the reward will be more than handsome, if you know what I mean. I'll, uh... One thing still bothers me. The guard at the storage, Dar- Your guard was vigilant. He fought bravely, but the poisoner knocked him out. You ask me? Good old dependable Daryl. I hope he's a- Now, refresh me. I know it very well. You were astute. Yes. Ah, I just... You'll find that here in O- 
I've found what looks suspiciously like a dungeon in the basement of your- Excuse me? A dungeon. Chains, shackles, and blood. Ring any bell? Oh, I've no idea what you're talking about, but it sounds awful. We, we only started renting the place a few weeks ago. Oh, goodness. I'm going to have to ask our landlord several uncomfortable questions. It's... See you. Welcome to, to the University of Oakmont. <laughs> How can I help? Looking for Professor Westerbrook. You know where I can find... Uh, you, 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 uh, oh, oh never mind. Uh, uh, he, he's in the de Department of Medicine. Let, let, let me show you. You recognize this bottle? You know where it comes from? Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, fine. Ah, you need an... Hello, sir. Welcome to Oakmont University Department of Medicine. I'm Samuel. Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. I have a few questions, if you don't mind. You recognize this bottle? Maybe you could tell me what's inside. Hmm. That's one of our lab bottles. We have a lot of them. As for what's inside, I'd need to run some tests. Uh, could you do that for me? These tests aren't cheap, and the other day I could get right to it, but we're, uh, somewhat hindered right now. What's up? Our lab is crawling with, well, creatures. Professor Westerbrook's research is a little unconventional, and something went wrong. Really wrong. So, if I do a little pest control for you, you'll run those tests for me, for free. Our budget is tight. You'd be helping the cause of science, Mr. Reed. Isn't that enough? Oh, I guess science could help it some. All right. Yes, you solve our problem, and I'll run the test for you. Off the books. 
Here's the key for the basement. This thing is dead. Why do they even keep it here? What kind of person would even touch this? Not to mention dissect it. Some serious equipment they've got here. Oakmont University is clearly well funded. I wonder what would happen if I press this button. Should I or shouldn't I? is certified creature free. Excellent, Mr. Reed. You've done us a great favor. Okay. I've done my part. Uh... We finished that analysis, sir. It's... well, it's ricin. Ricin? A highly toxic poison extracted from castor beans. It's slow-acting, but absolutely fatal. So, where do you get ricin? This isn't something you can pick up from a drugstore. Ah, uh, about that. I'm afraid that must be where... Ah, crime scene. This is horrible. Who's got access? Only Professor Westerbrook has the key. His office is up. Professor Westerbrook's not here, though. He's been sick for the lab. Where did... I'm not sure, but probably somewhere in Advent. I'm working. I... I'd like... What do you... I want to know. He's the head? As? Yeah, the... I... He... You... What can you... T He's one of the most brilliant te... His biochemist... What's it? I don't know. There's some kind... I hope he gets... I'll see...
these bottles look exactly the same as the one with the poison. Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. What do you want? Uh, just wanted to... Oh, how nice. Oh, well, if that's the way... Good. Bye.
Judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been worn in a long time. So why keep it around? of investigation, and the EOD is in the center of all of it. dresses locked away in a dark corner for a long time. I'm starting to smell some deep family trauma here. I loved you. I always loved you. Judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been worn in a long time. So why keep it around? like this anymore. There's something I have- I don't care what your damn EOD cult- You will never understand our cause! My child is blessed by the sea! I believe in you, George! Okay, let's see what we have here. George? I don't care what your damn EOD cult demands, Anna! I thought the child was my- You will never understand our cause! My child is blessed by the sea! I believe in you, George! George Cavendish. He had a wife named Anna. She had a baby that was not his, but blessed by the sea and claimed by the EOD. This caused their split.
you? What, what are you doing here? Calm down. Right now, you look like someone who's breaking into my house. Easy there. Anna from the fish market asked me to find you. I should have guessed. It's not about what she wants. It's about what you did. Poisoning the fish, Sav- Hold on! Before you jump to conclusions, I want you to know that I had a good reason to do what I did. Oh, this should be fun. What's your good reason for poisoning innocent people? You know the EOD are feeding the hungry, don't you? No. Oh, that's exactly the problem. They're not doing it out of charity. They do it to spread their influence and recruit new members. Some of those initiates, as they call them, vanish without a trace. And not just them. They kidnap ordinary folks, too. And poisoning the fish would prevent this how? Oh, you see, not everyone in this city believes in the EOD yet. They have opposition among the citizens, both rich and poor. A rumor of the EOD's fish being poisonous and several incidents would be enough to undermine the EOD by sparking fear and mistrust. What's Anna got? As you might have already gleaned, she is... was... my wife. Uh-huh. Yeah, it all starts to come together now. The EOD robbed me of her. It all started with the free fish. We were all short on food at the time, and then they hooked her with their nonsense about the benevolent sea and greater good. She became... Yes. At first, I was over the moon. But then one day she came to me, that snake, and told me that the child was not mine. She said it was blessed by the sea, that it was demanded by the EOD. Doom take them! I couldn't stand it! I just couldn't! There must be another way to deal with the EOD. Like if their crimes are that... <sighs> They're resourceful, those sons of hagfish! They... I tried going to the police. They were no help at all. And I'm not suicidal enough to make it public and take them to court. So what's your next... I... was interrupted and couldn't finish my task. The EOD received a fresh haul of fish, but now they're on alert and raised their guard. I understand I'm in no position to ask. But after reviewing all the facts I've presented to you, Mr. Reed, would you agree to help me? Keep talking. Now what is it you want from me? Poison the rest of the fish. It's spreading, but it's not enough. The EOD trusts you enough to deal with me, so it should be simple for you. My agent inside the EOD reports that they've just received a fresh haul. That's your target. You're a madman, Cavendish. You're willing to let innocent people suffer and die just to get revenge on your ex-wife. No, this madness has to stop. And I'm gonna put an end to it right now. Oh, no, no. You, you don't understand.
All the news that's fit to print. Fresh fish? I found the poisoner and dealt with him. He won't be bothering you. <sighs> See, bless you, Charlie. That's great news. Who was it? Well, see, now that's the interesting part. It was your ex-husband, George Cavendish. Oh. Well, that son of a rotten shark finally got what was coming to him. Good riddance. Still, it's strange. I never thought he'd have the guts to do something like this. He was always a pushover. There will be. All right. No more messing around. Get me in touch with your grand poobah or whoever's in charge. Now. Easy there, Charlie. I'm a woman of my word. Go to the basement of the fish market. It's nearby. You'll find an inn smather there by the name of Maurice. Tell him I've sent you. You'll get your answers. About... There. And it is only fair to be afraid. Titanic forces are at work. Infinite. There will be sacrifice. There will be loss. I guess... Let me... I am called Ebernote. Uh, black. I'll see.
Glad to see you again. Do you want a fishy? Hey, hey, Mr. Ree. Do I know you, buddy? Not yet, but I know you. I also know you're looking for a particular lady. My name's Fred. You're looking for a professor, though. No, ain't that right? The scientists are order kidnapped. I think we can help each other. How do you mean? You know where she is? Slow down, buddy. Helping each other is not the same as let me just tell you everything. are free in this city, is it? Figures. All right. Shoot. You won't regret it. You've seen some of this city now, am I right? You've an inkling what's coming? I want out of the Order and the city before it hits. Trouble is, it's much easier to get into the Order. I need somebody to get me out of the... <sighs> Ain't you a detective? See, I've heard whispers about ads in the... All right, fine. I'll look into it. I know where they've got her. I can get you there. I know who is behind Professor Doe's kidnapping. It's an organization called the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Most of them stick to the fish market, 
but they seem to have agents everywhere. Even the university. I knew there was something fishy about the EOD. The den of those filthy Imdmouthers. I'll t Actually, most of the EOD members I met were locals. And for what it's worth, the only Innsmouther I spoke to was a nice guy. You ought Are you calling me a bigot? Robert, listen. Something needs to change. You hold those who fan the flames of- They killed my son for case sake! I know. But what did you do to prevent it? You made yourself their enemy instead of helping them. What did you expect would happen? You chose to brand them newcomers and leave them to suffer just like you did with me. You no wonder desperate Innsmouthers would seek refuge from a- I... Ah, back to business. I'll continue my search for Professor Dow. I have a promising lead. You have anything else to tell me? Your task remains the same. You say we are dealing with... Now leave.